Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk about how to apply for spouse visa. Um, for example, if you as a husband received a job opportunity in the UAE and you want to bring your wife to the UAE as well, so this is a guide for you on how to do that. This is purely based on my experience and my husband's when we were planning for my move here. First, I'm going to be talking about the list of documents that you need. The first one is a marriage certificate because the marriage certificate that is produced in our country is in Jawi we had to get that translated before we then send it for testation at the UAE embassy in Malaysia my home country the cost for those the service fee that we get charged was 200 ringgit the translation fee was 150 ringgit and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs charges is 20 ringgit the attestation at the embassy was 200 ringgit so all together it was 570 ringgit to get the documents translated and attested at the UAE embassy I would advise that you do this before you go to Dubai because once you reach UAE you have to get another attestation from the embassy here in the UAE in one document it requires two attestation the next document is the proof of salary for the spouse that's earning money in the UAE my husband is working in the Jabal Ali free zone so he had to get his proof of salary from Jafza the next thing is the passport copy of both the sponsor meaning the husband and also the wife and the next thing is the husband's emirate ID document number five is a visa copy of the sponsor again the husband next is passport photo there is a certain requirement for the background and stuff mine was just white but it is advisable that you you check the version that is the latest the last item that you need is Ijari registration if you don't know what that is this is another process that you need to go through before bringing your wife to Dubai you have to be renting an apartment and have that tenancy agreement be registered at the Ijari office you also have to earn a minimum of 4,000 dirham per month in order for you to be eligible to apply for spouse visa based on our experience it took my husband about 10 days to get everything sorted out because he had to go and tour for apartments and go and register for Ijari and all those stuff and once you have all that document sorted out you have to go to the Amir Center it is a place for visa application and this is where you need to first apply for your wife's entry permit actually there are a few ways on how you can enter Dubai and stay long term one is for you to just come as a visitor but then you will need to apply for a change of status from a visitor to residence from the research that we've done this process requires more money and the next option is to do border run meaning if you are a visitor while you are applying for residence visa by the time the number of days of your stay in UAE is coming to an end you will have to go out of the UAE to whichever country and comes back to make sure that this process is complete we personally think that the way we did was easiest because my husband is already there he already knew where to go he was able to ask a little bit here and there from his colleague on the process and stuff so there is more reference point when you are already here back to our process my husband went to the Amir center and he applied for my entry permit he paid 808 dirham for the entry permit application once he has gotten the entry permit he forwarded it to me and I have that printed out and bring with me when I go through immigration at the airport my entry permit lasted for two months
months as soon as I arrived in Dubai I have two months to do all the next steps to acquire the residence visa when my husband comes here his company is the sponsors for him in my case my husband would be my sponsor just to give you a little bit of a timeline I arrived in Dubai on the 3rd of June 2022 we started to apply for my residence visa on the 8th of June I ended up applying for the residence visa with three years validity as per my husband's and during the application you need to bring all those documents that I mentioned just now including your passport photo because that will be the photo that they will scan and uh, will end up being on your Emirate ID so make sure you take a good photo of yourself during this step on 8th of June we had to pay a fee of 260 8 dirham and 26 fills in each step of the way you will be required to pay for a separate service charge at a different counter so on 8th june we had to pay 63 dirham and 50 fills for the next step that we did on 9th of June is a medical checkup. Now this step you actually can do on the same day. It just so happened that when we went on the 8th, it was too late. Do take note of the closing time of the Amir Center and the medical center that they refer you to. For the medical checkup, we had to pay 344 dirham and 64 fills and 38 dirham service charge. What I did for the checkup was uh, an x-ray and I had to have my blood drawn. I'm not sure about other Amir Center but the one that I went to, the medical checkup place is just like two doors uh, from the Amir Center so it's quite convenient. After I get my blood drawn, x-ray and everything at the assigned medical center, I went back to the Amir center to hand them the document saying that I've already done all those steps. Once you hand that over to the person in charge at the Amir center, they will ask for your preferred time for you to go and get your fingerprint done and book your slot in advance at the government transaction center they will ask which center that you want to go to mine was the Al Yalayis um, center because that's the closest to where we live even if you don't know which one is the closest to where you're living they will help you figure out based on the address that's on your tenancy agreement after that on the 10th of June I received my medical slash fitness um, test result I believe they forwarded it to the Amir Center we did printed it out just in case they need it for the next step even if they don't send it directly to them you can have that email to the person in charge that is at the Amir Center because usually when they are entering your info they will have a screen on your side as well usually over there they will put their email address so make sure you take note of the email address of the person attending you if there's any document that they need later on you can just email it to them the next step is quite a few few days after the medical checkup which is on the 19th of June I had to go into the Amir Center again for visa stamping fee meaning the, the visa that gets them into your passport so for that purpose I get charged 491 dirham and 77 fills the service charge was 91 dirham and 80 cent which is higher than the ones that get charged before this they will inform you as well as email you the information on on the company that will come to your place of residence in order to collect your passport verify that with the person who comes to collect in my experience they do wear their company's polo shirt to match with the information in the email that I got from Amir Center. They came to collect for my passport on the 24th of June and they return it to me on the 28th of June and one of the page gets them with the um, visa. When they come to drop off your passport, usually they will ask for the sponsor's Emirate ID to just verify that you are the right person and they are not just handing that passport over to just anyone 
make sure you have a copy of your husband's Emirate ID or have him just send it via WhatsApp to you before the day off. My fingerprint day was booked on the 4th of July. Two days prior to that, I have to go for a PCR test. I'm not sure whether this step is still necessary. For you to enter the actual government facility, you have to be cleared of COVID-19. For me, I went to the medic clinic that's nearby to me. So it cost me 150 dirham for the PCR test and it's usually within 24 hours. Once I've gotten the test result, I have to print it out. The place that I went to charge me about 4 dirham for the document. On the 4th of July, I had to go to the Yalais Government Transaction Center. It's the nearest one but it's still quite far from where we live. It cost me 47 dirham for the taxi to the center and 59 dirham and 50 fills for the return taxi. Once you are there at the center, you have to go to a specific side because they separate the male and female side. So usually the female one is quite empty and um, everything was quite fast. At the entrance, they will usually have an officer who will verify all your documents and make sure that you are tested negative for COVID and they will let you in. You will basically be called to the female officer because um, they are very particular about not having having like a male officer touching your hand especially when you are doing fingerprints I think it took me about only five minutes for that process to complete as soon as I arrived what they did was just basically take all my fingerprints and my palm prints and ask me to do a digital sign on their the machine the person did that while she's just um, chatting away with her colleague next to her before I know it it's done another important thing about this step even though it's quite quick you have to make sure that your signature is the exact way that you always sign because my husband ran into a bit of a problem when trying to apply for my UAE numbers because when he signed for the application it does not match with what's in the government system so please make sure that your signature is as accurate as possible and on the 6th of July I got an SMS saying that that they will be delivering my Emirate ID. I have to go into the link that they provide to fill in my delivery address to make sure that they send to the right place. And on the next day, on the 7th of July, I got my Emirate ID card, which is an identity card for the UAE residents. After we added up everything in the process that I just mentioned, it came up to about 2,736 dirham and 47 fields that is the one that's in um, UAE but of course you have to include the ones for the process that you have to do in Malaysia as well and ours was 570 ringgit Malaysia it might be more or it might be less depending on how many uh, years of your visa validity it is best to always prepare for more so yeah that's basically the process that we went through for my uh, Emirate ID and residence visa. I will also include the link to some of the website that we referred to when we were trying to apply for mine. Do check the description box below on the latest process because some of these sites they do update it from time to time. Looking at this date I just realized that I started my process on the 8th of June and I ended up getting my Emirate ID on the 7 which means that it took us one solid month to complete this whole process so even though you have two months since your entry permit issuance I would advise that you get into your application right away if you're looking for another guide on how to rent your apartment I talk about the Ijari process and everything which I will link it here and at the end of this video also if you are wondering about the cost of living for a couple living in Dubai I did share the details in regards to our accommodation transportation grocery and insurance and all those stuff you can check this video out as well I hope this was helpful I'll see you guys in my next one bye